Hello everyone. It's my pleasure to welcome you all to the presentation on Expressy, which is an online bioinformatics resource portal that has a diverse catalog of bioinformatics resources which is developed and operated by Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics. It is an integrative portal which provides access to over 160 databases and software tools and also supports a range of life science and clinical research areas from genomics proteomics evolution phylogeny systems biology medicinal chemistry etc the terms used in expressy are based on the edam ontology which is expanded as embrace data and methods ontology the current version of expressy was released in october 2020 Now let me go to the home page of the Swiss Bioinformatics Resource Portal Expressy. The Expressy home page contains a single search bar at the top of the page which allows simultaneously two types of search one is a regular search and another one is across the source search. The results will be displayed jointly on one page. Expressy allows users to search for resources by name, keyword, category, or description. In addition to the regular search, Expressy offers cross-resource search, which allows to query a subset of web-accessible databases in parallel. There are 19 databases accessible via the cross-resource search functionality, like Swiss Model Repository, Swiss Doc, OMA, AuthoDB, String, Uniprot KB, Enzyme, etc. There is a filter panel on left side of the page to filter resources by categories like genes and genomes, proteins and proteomes, evolution and phylogeny, structural biology, systems biology, text mining and machine learning, under which subcategories are also available. All the resources are listed as cards which are sorted randomly with resource name, short description, type whether it is a database or a software tool. or both and to which categories the resources belong to this symbol indicates the resource is a database and this symbol indicates the resource is a software tool under the category genes and genomes there are resources like vpipe swiss ontology swiss regulon portal eukaryotic promoter database translate crystal w etc Initially it was called as expert protein analysis system which acted as a proteomic server to analyze protein sequences and structures and hence there are multiple resources under the category proteins and proteomes like uniprot kb swiss lipids swiss model nextprot string cluster w translate scan prosite protparam tmpred peptide cutter compute pi and mw prosite etc Under the category Evolution and Phylogeny, the available resources are VPipe, Swiss Ontology, Selectome, AuthoDB, OMA Browser, etc. Under the category Structural Biology, the available resources are Swiss Drug Design, Swiss Param, Swiss ADME, TMPred, Swiss Doc, Swiss Model Repository, Swiss Sidechain, etc. Under the category Systems Biology, there are resources like TCS, Glycophorest, Glyconnect, Genome History, Swiss Regulon, Glycodigest, Metanet X, and many more. And finally, there are only four resources available under the category Text Mining and Machine Learning. They are COVID Triage, SAP ILS, Computational Linguistics for COVID-19, and Variomes. For example, let me search for the keyword COVID-19. The result page provides two types of search results which are visually separated. The top of the page provides cross-resource search result with the number of hits found in each of the 19 databases. The cross mark will appear if query is meaningless with respect to that specific database. Here, the two hits indicates the number of hits found in the subset of Swiss model repository. Likewise, six hits here indicates the number of hits found in the subset of next plot database. The bottom of the page provides regular search results related to the keyword COVID-19. 
one regular search resource was found related to the COVID-19. Let me explain in brief about some of the basic tools used for the analysis namely Protparam and TMPRED. Protparam, this tool computes various physicochemical properties that can be deduced from a protein sequence like molecular weight, theoretical isoelectric point, amino acid composition, extinction coefficient, estimated of life, instability index, aliphatic index and grand average of hydropathicity which is abbreviated as GRAVI. Molecular weight and theoretical isoelectric point or alone can be calculated using the tool Compute PI and MW. Let me give demo on the tool Protparam. The tool can be accessed by using the keyword Protparam in the resource portal XPASI or it can be directly accessed through your web browser using the same keyword. The resultant page provides the resources related to the keyword Protparam. Click on the resource. You will see the hyperlink Browse the resource website. Click on it. You will be directed to the page where you can provide your input sequence. The protein can be either specified as a Swiss plot or Trumbull accession number or ID or in a form of raw sequence. Here, I am going to compute the physicochemical properties of the enzyme carboxylase from the organism Leishmania donovani. Click on the compute parameters. You will be directed to the output or the result page. Here, the physicochemical properties were computed. Let me analyze the resultant parameters. The number of amino acids present in the given protein is 665. The molecular weight of the protein carboxylase is 73,886.79 which is expressed in Daltons. Theoretical PI is calculated using PK that is a dissociation constant values of amino acid. Here the theoretical PI is 5.83 which is less than 7. This indicates that the protein is acidic in nature. Next, the amino acid composition is displayed as 1 letter code followed by number of residues followed by frequency of residues. Amino acid composition is also available in CSV format. The total number of negatively charged residues in this protein is 89 and the total number of positively charged residues is 78. The formula of the given protein with the atomic composition is given as carbon 3256, hydrogen 5202, nitrogen 892, oxygen 989, sulfur 38. The total number of atoms present in the given protein is 10377. Extinction coefficients of a protein can be estimated from the molar extinction coefficients of tyrosine, tryptophan and cysteine residues using the formula extinction coefficient of protein is equal to number of tyrosine into extinction coefficient of tyrosine plus number of tryptophan into extinction coefficient of tryptophan plus number of cysteine into extinction coefficient of cysteine which is expressed in per mole per centimeter and the absorbance can be calculated using the formula absorbance of protein is equal to extinction coefficient of protein divided by molecular weight which is expressed in gram per liter. The two values were computed by the tool based on the formulas. The first computed value is based on the assumption that all cysteine residues appear as of cysteines and the value here is 54,625 per mole per centimeter and the absorbance is 0.739. The second computed value is based on the assumption that no cysteine appears as half cysteine. The value here is 53,750 and the absorbance is 0.727. Here, the cysteine residues are reduced to cysteines because cysteine does not absorb appreciably at wavelengths greater than 260 nanometer, while the cysteine does. Cysteine is the amino acid formed when a pair of cysteine molecules are joined by a disulfide bond. 
The computation will be quite reliable for proteins containing tryptophan residues. For the estimation of half-life, this tool relies on the NN rule, that is, the rate of protein degradation through recognition of N-terminal residues. The estimated half-life will vary according to the N-terminal residue present in our protein of interest. It is predicted for three model organisms, namely human mammalian reticulocytes, yeast and E. coli. Here, the N-terminal residue is met methionine. Hence, the estimated half-life is 30 hours for mammalian reticulocytes and greater than 20 hours for yeast and greater than 10 hours for E. coli. Next, the instability index. If the instability index is smaller than 40, then the protein is considered as stable. If the value is above 40, then the protein may be unstable. Here, the instability index is computed to be 44.12, which is greater than 40, hence the protein classifies as unstable. Next, the aliphatic index. It may be regarded as a positive factor for the increase of thermostability of globular proteins. It is calculated using the formula X alanine plus A into X valine plus B into X isoleucine into X leucine. Here, X alanine, X valine, X leucine. X isoleucine or mole percent. The coefficients A and B are relative volume of valine side chain and leucine or isoleucine side chains respectively to the side chains of alanine. Here the aliphatic index is 84.87. Next the gravity. The negative gravity indicates that the protein is nonpolar and the positive value indicates that the protein is polar. Here the gravity is negative. Hence, the protein is classified as nonpolar, that is, hydrophobic. These all are the parameters analyzed using the tool protparam. The next tool, TMPRED. This tool makes a prediction of membrane spanning regions, which is frequently an alpha helix and also their orientation. It is based on the algorithm of TM base that is a database of naturally occurring transmembrane proteins where the predictions are made using a combination of several weight matrices for scoring. Let me give demo on the TMPRED server. As I said before, it can be accessed by using the keyword TMPRED in resource portal XPASI or it can be directly accessed through your web browser. The default output format of the TMPRED server will be HTML. You can choose the minimal and maximal length of the hydrophobic part of the transmembrane helix for which you have to make predictions. Here the minimum, num minimum number of length will be 14 and maximum length will be 41. You can give the title of the query. There are 6 input sequence format including the Swiss plot and tremble ID. I have chosen the plain text format. Here I am going to predict the transmembrane helices of the protein rhodopsin of human. Rhodopsin is a visual pigment of the rod photoreceptor cell in the vertebrate retina. Click on run TMPRED. The output page will be displayed. Here, the sequence length is 348. The parameters are predicted for hydrophobic region of TM helices between the length 17 and 33. The first resultant output shows the possible transmembrane helices. The sequence positions in brackets denominate the core region. The scores only above 500 are considered to be significant. Here, 7 inside to outside helices are found to be significant and 7 outside to inside helices are found to be significant. The second resultant output shows the table of correspondence that is which of the inside to outside helices corresponds to which of the outside to inside helices. Here, the plus symbol indicates the preference of the orientation and plus plus symbol indicates the strong preference of the orientation. The third resultant output provides the suggested models for transmembrane topology. The above predicted results were used for the topology assignment of the given protein. Here, two possible models were considered using significant TM segments. 
This strongly preferred model with N terminus outside has 7 strong transforming helices with a total score of 15,326. And an alternative model has 7 strong transmembrane helices with the total score of 12,466. Finally, the graphical output will be displayed. Here, the solid line denotes inside to outside transmembrane helices, whereas the dotted line denotes outside to inside transmembrane helices. The x axis represents the amino acid sequence from N terminal to C terminal, whereas y axis represents the scores computed by the TM Bridge server. The peaks above 500 represents the probable occurrence of transmembrane helices. The above predicted graph can be viewed in the following formats namely GIF format, Postscript format and the numerical format. These are all the parameters predicted by the TM Bridge server.